So what do we do with odd numbers? Let's look at an example. Jane picked these flowers from her garden. She gave half to her mum and half to her grandmother. How many flowers did each person receive? So we can see that there are five flowers. Now five is an odd number. Let's see what happens when we try to find half of five. So we can give one to the grandma and one to mum, another one to grandma and another one to mum. But oh dear, we're only left with one. So we have to cut that flower in half in order to share it equally. So therefore, half of five is two and a half. Each person receives two and a half flowers.